Hello, vibrant viewers, and welcome to Healthy Living. Most of us wonder about the elements of excellent health and often ask, why did I get this illness? Or, why am I not feeling as well as I should? Or, what can I do to improve my health? On today's episode, we will learn the answers to these and other health-related questions from renowned health pioneer and vegan, Dr. Adiel Teloran. Dr. Teloran is a licensed physician, university professor, and holistic scientist. He promotes functional medicine, a science-based, natural approach to diagnosis and therapy. Dr. Teloran, who received his medical training in Europe and the U.S., is also a doctor of chiropractic and a licensed nutritionist certified with the American Clinical Board of Nutrition. Currently President Emeritus, Dean of Medical Sciences and Professor of Functional and Nutritional Medicine at the University of Natural Medicine in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Dr. Teloran has founded and supported many projects, including a health network called Ecopolitan, which houses, among other things, a detoxification and healing hospital, a raw juice bar, and a non-profit, 100% organic, raw vegan restaurant. Let's hear from Dr. Teloran and more about the life-saving, plant-based diet. Dr. Teloran, you have put all your knowledge and experience to good use to become a holistic scientist and a functional medicine practitioner. You practice all over the world. For our viewers, can you please explain what a functional medicine practitioner is? And also, can you talk about ecopolitan? First of all, uh, functional medicine, in short, in a nutshell, is the field of medicine that employs holistic thinking and utilizes science to support that uh, holistic thinking. It's important today not just to treat symptoms, but to actually find out what causes people's ailments, to diagnose the causes, not just to diagnose a name of a disease and simply attach a drug to it, or even attach a supplement to it or other product. You need to find out what's causing people's sickness because without sickness um, being deciphered, there will never be a solution. And people are getting sicker and sicker everywhere. And there is no such thing as a sustainable living when people are sick. Dr. Teloran founded Ecopolitan since he wished to inform others how to live a healthy, ecologically friendly lifestyle. The Ecopolitan EcoHealth Network tries to teach people the truth about their food, the truth about their lifestyle and how to live sustainably so that they can um, be both ecological and healthy at the same time since the two cannot be separated. We have even created a whole website for, for this called thetruthaboutyourfood.com which offers free teleseminars for uh, everybody uh, telling you the truth that you have not normally heard about your proteins, about your fats, about your sugars, about processed foods, not what you normally hear, totally different things. At the beginning of time, people lived healthful, active lives in accord with nature. They don't eat any mass-produced animals. They don't manufacture agricultural, agriculture of animals. They don't harvest animals. They don't harvest the glandular secretion of animals, which is what dairy is. Dairy products are no more than glandular secretions of other animals. There are no animals in nature that would do that. Only humans the dairy industry, the cattle industry, are huge industries and they influence our politicians and our governments to make us believe and they influence our experts and they pay their way to make us believe that their products are acceptable for human beings to consume. 
in nature we don't see any animal drink the um, dairy or the, uh, the glandular secretions of other mammals, they only drink their own mother's milk for a, a certain amount of time before they reach their uh, winning age or their maturity to deal with food from their environment. Most of today's food are processed foods, meat and dairy products, which are highly damaging to our immune systems. Animal products are associated with numerous chemical changes in the human body, with not just acidity and digestive difficulties and pollution within our body, but also with uh, um, autoimmune disease, and neurological disease and generally they change the ecology within our body. They change how we function, they make us um, behave in different ways because they change our hormones and really it's important for people to note that in studies that were done by epidemiologists you can trace many diseases, many conditions to animal products that were never available or never present in the human population until we, start, we started depending on these foods, depending on growing those animals and eating their hormones and eating their concentrated pollutants, the heavy metals that grow, go higher and higher in quantity as you go up the food chain. We'll return shortly to hear Dr. Taloran explain the nutritional requirements that we must strive to meet. You are watching Healthy Living here on Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to Healthy Living. Today's show features Dr. Adiel Taloran a holistic scientist and certified physician who discusses the benefits of a plant-based diet and sustainable living. Any meat eater, any dairy eater, any flesh eater has to worry about numerous nutritional deficiencies. So it's not just vegetarians and vegans. It's about the environment, it's about our lifestyle, about modern um, lifestyle that we have today, about agriculture, about processing of foods, all of those things count here. It's more important that everybody is aware, not just vegetarians and vegans. Dr. Teloran further clarifies misleading concepts about vitamin B12 deficiencies in vegetarian and vegan diets, stating that, just as with other forms of nourishment, Everyone needs to consume a balanced variety of vegetables and fruits in order to obtain sufficient nutrition. Today, almost everybody is B12 deficient, including meat eaters. And in fact, people who are heavy on the meat intake are specifically deficient in B12. Although countless studies have shown the harmful effects of a meat diet, Dr. Taloran explains that many people have a hard time giving it up because, like drugs, it is highly addictive. Uh, there are numerous aspects on the physiological and the anatomical uh, level that indicate time and time again that we are not built to, uh, to handle such foods in such quantities. If somebody insists on being addicted to such foods and they are addictive by the way dairy products are def definitely addictive it's proven there are sufficient uh, studies about that um, the effect on the immune system is very significant the effect on our hormones uh, is significant animal protein causes increase in our cortisol secretion cortisol is a very important stress hormone which makes us feel high increases our blood sugar level and makes us feel good, which is addictive. So when people eat such foods, they are tending to be more and more addicted to them. And if they start with just once a month, they end up once a week, and then once a day, and then three times a day, every meal has to have a piece of flesh on the center of the plate. 
And this is the result of addiction. And as societies become more and more affluent, they want to emulate other affluent societies and increase their meat and dairy consumption accordingly and get sicker and sicker and suddenly we see how major societies which change their position from being Asian and becoming European or American suddenly they start having all these diseases that they never had before cancer, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, autoimmune disease Many illnesses are, in fact, caused by protein changes in our bodies due to meat consumption. And these diseases are not because of the fat change, not because of the carbohydrates change. They are directly correlated with the protein change. They're eating too much protein suddenly. Nobody wants to touch the holy cow of protein. It's always fighting sugar, carbs, or fats. Both of those are almost indistinguishable as far as energetics, metabolism is concerned. They both burn clean in the body. It's protein that burns dirty, that we make energy out of in a very dirty way and therefore pollute our body and create new chemistry that leads to all those diseases. Including, including with diabetes. Diabetes does not happen in all those countries in the world that eat lots of carbohydrates. They eat lots of sugars. I'm not saying it's healthy. They're not necessarily as healthy as they could be, but they don't develop these diseases that I mentioned earlier. But when they increase their animal protein, that's when they start getting all these cardiovascular disease and diabetes and autoimmune disease and cancer. So we are showing again and again that our physiology is not made for that. Infectious agents that are found in dairy products even after pasteurization that will scare people away. The pus that is always found in ulcered udders that are, in, that are found in 80 to 90 percent of dairy cows that are ending in our food. From a health perspective, Dr. Telorn urges us to consume the wide variety of greens found in nature. Then we go to the supermarket and go to the produce section. And in the produce section, there are a lot of food that most of us don't recognize. We need to start recognizing them and increase the variety of what's going to be on our plate. There are numerous greens that we don't even try. Most people don't even know the names of most of those greens that they see in the health food store, in their co-op, or in the large supermarket that today have some produce that they didn't have just 20 years ago, like dandelion greens, like chard, mustard greens, etc. People throw away the tops of beets and the tops of radishes and turnips, and those tops are far, far healthier and more nourishing than what we are accustomed to eat, which is the bulb, the root. So every day we must eat a good variety of green leafy vegetables. That's where we get our powerhouse of nutrients. That's where we get the highest density of nutrients per calorie. Please join us again next Monday as we continue our conversation with Dr. Adiel Teloran, who will explain the far-reaching benefits of a plant-based diet for our autonomic system. Now, please stay tuned for more constructive programming right after Noteworthy News here on Supreme Master Television. So long till next time. <music>